Good morning, everybody. I toast to you and all you do. I hope you're having a fantastic morning. I am out here enjoying this cold weather. Been out since early. Watched the sunrise. It was very beautiful this morning. Um, <clears throat> it is also the dark moon today. So if you didn't see that video, check out that video all about the dark moon and Sagittarius. This is just a great time for reflection and uh, yeah, we're not here for that today. So if you want to see about that, check out that video. Anyways, we are here for our introspective journey. We are on day 24. And as I've said before, if you miss a day or a few days or this is your first day, that's okay. Really just the important thing is that throughout this dark season, the time between Samhain and the winter solstice or Yule, um, Halloween and Yule, this is a time when we really turn inward and we connect with our ancestors and ourself and we find the answers that we seek. Um, sorry, when I was thinking that thought, I just had this really like thing that came into my head uh, about because the God has passed, his energy is being re restored. Um, in the under, uh, underworld, afterworld, afterlife, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and so he's passed on and the goddess has reclused into this place of healing and also mourning because she lost her husband and her lover and her love. And now she is preparing for her baby to be born and this youthful energy to be brought forth in this transformation, but she also has receded. So we have both of the divine energy receding and we are left with ourselves and our ancestors and this is when however yes we can call upon the divine to seek the answers it's more so the energy that comes from within it is our ancestral energy it is our self and this is when we are in essence forced to rely upon ourself in order to find the answers that we need uh, the whole rest of the year we have divine interventions and divine signs and the, you know messages and communications and all of that is very very available um, especially if we're like near Beltane or near Samhain um, these times are really really easy to connect with the divine and this time of the year is not this is when it really is you seeking your own light your own information your own self um, and again this is when we call on our ancestors this is when we call on the energies of the earth like um, it's a strong fairy time for me, working with the fairies and whatnot. Soon we'll uh, make our gingerbread house to welcome the fairies inside, which is really just a symbolic messaging because they're always in my house, um, <laughs> and around my house, and shiny objects disappear and then reappear. And you know, it's just, it's a fun interaction. Uh, these are house spirits that I work with all the time. And so, but we will make their gingerbread house um, and to symbolically welcome them into the house and um, have that transition and just really honor these spirits um, and our ancestors. We still have our ancestor altar out um, and just really welcoming that energy so that, you know, to help bolster my own energy and the energy of us in the house and of everybody like this is that point is to really connect with that energy of self and where you come from and who you are and so it doesn't matter if you do this every day chances are you found at some point throughout the last couple of weeks that you have found like oh I just had this thought and this moment of inspiration or of introspection or you know I just feel like I need to take a bath and relax these are things that are important and you need to take that time for yourself and uh, you know, I do encourage you to go through and find something every day to think about or, you know, maybe it's a theme like this year you want to focus on making better habits. And so you're just really focusing on how you can do that. Uh, so, but just take that time to honor yourself and connect with yourself. And that's what's important. So, yes, we're on day 24. That doesn't mean you had to be here for every day. You can always go back and watch other videos. Um, whatever works for you just as long as you're taking that time so that you can heal and grow and become that ideal self that you're looking for so <laughs> today's question which is funny because i just made this video and it turned into a public service announcement that i didn't want it to be so i was like i have to make a new video so we're going to try to not let that happen again today <laughs> or this time so the question for today is what is a habit you wish you had started earlier 
uh, you know, as we go through time, we make changes in our life and we um, set in new habits and we set in new things to take better care of ourselves and whatnot or just be happy. Um, and so what is something that you do now that you wish you had started earlier? And at first this question was hard for me because I was like, well, you know, I don't know what to be. And I was really thinking about it. And then I was like, oh, duh. I wish that I had started taking better care of myself, specifically my mouth, much earlier in life. Um, and so here's my brief public service announcement. Uh, periodontal disease is devastating to your mouth if you don't go to the dentist. Uh, I personally have a genetic predisposition. My whole family has periodontal disease. It gets it really bad. I didn't learn this until I was almost 30, but most of the adults in my family don't have any teeth. Um, <clears throat> the women will all tell you that when they got pregnant, their babies took their teeth, but that's really not what happened. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but periodontal disease is treatable. It is something that you can handle and you don't have to lose your teeth. I didn't realize that that's what I had. I didn't go to the dentist. I just didn't take care of my mouth. I just was like, whatever. I don't have any cavities, so it must be fine. But it really wasn't. I have a lot of bone loss. Um, I had to have grafts put in, like bone grafts put in, which is funny because they're like, do you want cadaver bone grafts or pig bone grafts? I'm like, well, cadaver. Like, I don't want pig bones in my face, so... We went with the dead people. Uh, but I wish that I had started much earlier. Now in that vein, it's never too late to start something new. I think, just like we talked in the video before about, you know, it's not too late to make a change. It's not too late to try that thing or start that thing or do the thing that you really want to be doing and to shift your path. Uh, but it's never too late to start a new habit, especially a healthy habit. Um, and then to keep that up, you know, when I realized that I had periodontal disease and I had to have my teeth pulled and I had to have surgery and all of these things, I could have just been like, okay, back to not taking care of my mouth. But no, now I'm very diligent. I floss, I brush, I do everything I can to take care of the few remaining teeth that I have. I take really good care of my dentures because they are very expensive. Like. I am terrified to break one. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, I do surprise people because they're like, oh, your, your smile is so pretty or your teeth are so nice. I'm like, thanks. They were really expensive. <laughs> um, but so my public service announcement is to you is to floss and brush your teeth and to go to the dentist and if you don't like your dentist then go to a different one we are in a free market your dentist is typically not covered by insurance and you can find a dentist that you like so just go find a different one um, and go to the dentist it's important uh, <clears throat> but what are the things that you wish that you had started doing earlier and in that same kind of vein, what are the things that you need to start doing? You know, I need to do yoga more often. I get into spurts where I do it every day and I feel really good and then something happens and then I won't do it for a couple days or a week and then I'll just kind of do it sporadically. And I'm like, oh, if I did yoga every day, I would really feel better just in general. And I should do that. Um, so just kind of think about what it is that you you know, what habits you can start, because um, it's never too late. So, again, the question for today is, what is a habit you wish you had started doing earlier? And let me know in the comments below. Um, and I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. It's kind of cold out here. It's making it hard to think. <laughs> So, many blessings to all of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope that you have a fantastic day.